Hello, Islanders! Welcome sa ato ang ika-upat, ika-limang vlog. And we will talk about ang pinakakilig o ang pinakanindot na topic. Gugma! So, first things first. We are not capable of loving if we don't know and we don't have a um, strong relationship with the, with God. Because First John 4, 8, well, it's in the Bible. Why? Ano man sa Biblia matamu basi? Because the Bible, tiyak na to makita kung ang tinuod nga way of life. Kung sa ang paagi na to sa pagkinabuhi kay kung wala tayo ginuo, kung di ta magbasi sa Biblia, well, um, we believe na ang kugma o ang atong pagtratar sa usag usa dili gid possible and the world will be at a chaotic one our family our community our relationship will be a chaotic one of dili gid sa peaceful na relationship and so we believe nga ang biblia matihan matubag ang tanan because it's first things first mao ka na ang pulong sa Ginoo so ningon ang bible that god is love and so kung di ta kasabot sa Ginoo Huwag din ita kaila, huwag din ita kabalo, mahigugma. Okay? So that's the first one. We are not capable of loving if we don't have a personal relationship with God. Now let's go to, is love, is true love, a feeling or a choice? Oh, makaingo na yung tanong, wow, kikilig ko. Well, kayo na ito, what in love kay Konia, kay Kikilig ko, kapo siya. The emotions we often call love can come and go quickly. But true love, it kinda lasts a lifetime. So, it brings something at that time, love that lasts a lifetime. It should be developed and cultivated. Again, developed and cultivated. True love is far more than a feeling. It's a choice. If I remember, si Kuya Kim nengon siya. In the long run of your marriage, makafeel kang mawag tang tungkilig sa inyong relationship. And somewhat, maabot sa inyong relationship, magkilayan naman sa usag-usa ninyo. And that's the time. Hindi ha maingon kita kung tinood ba gano'ng gugma na to. Because, kung tinood ta na yung gugma, piliyon gihapo na to ang ato ang tao nga itong gihigugma despite anything sa itong emotions because love is more than emotions it's a choice do you remember this word? yes, it's agape it's the God kind of love it's the most powerful love on earth and you know what? ang kining gugma is shown by Jesus on the cross though we are not worthy sayang love well he still loves us, right? So that love is unconditional. Whoever you are, still God loves us. So that would be may ngon tang a model sa atong gugma. Na na gugma gyan kung tasa tao mas ikin sa siya. And whatever his mistakes or her mistakes is, we will accept him or her because our love is that Jesus love. It's unconditional. It has nothing to do with how someone treats you. It, uh, it has to do with the love coming out of you. As a receiver of God's love, God's agape love, you can be a giver of agape love too. In other words, when you were willing to meet the needs of other, another, even when they aren't meeting yours, you've got it. That's true love. So second, uh, you're asking, what's uh, on man pagpakita o pag-show sa true love? Um, well, ang ubang tao na guna-una, nga ang love is like something to do with hugging, gakus, hello, holding hands. But you know what? Love goes far beyond that. Beyond those acts of physical affection. True love is an exclusive on that intimate relationship between man and a man and a woman but love is also essential to a parenting friendships and extended family and ministry so 
mga kabatang unan, especially sa itong mga kabatang unan, we all remember that dili lang ang atong isigkatawa nga to ang opposite sex ang makahatag na to o gugma o kalipay, may nikalibutan na but, you know, love is universal. You can find it sa family, sa friends, sa church, sa ministry, pwede kayo. Aside from physical affection, some people think true love mahitabo na siya um, all the time. Not so, no? True love is defined in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, 4 to 13, which tells us that love acts this way. Number one, it forgives. It sees the best in people. It has the patience. It is kind to others. It is not rude or inconsiderate. It doesn't tell people what they want to hear. It tells them what they need to hear. It isn't quickly to get angry or offended. It's not touchy, fretful, or resentful. And it obeys God. Now, if someone slips on one of these areas again and again, it doesn't mean they don't share and love you. It means that they are also imperfect people. Couldn't forgive this too. But ang tinood nga gugma is ma-develop lamang nato through a relationship in Christ. It will work to behave in these ways toward others. On the other hand, if you've been going down, check checking this list kung ay mo abang partner or someone in your life and thinking, hmm, I knew it. So, wala siya. Napin siya ni nga point. Well, I tell you, if you are a giver of true love, you won't think of how others should treat you. But instead, you focus on how well you can love to others. Of course, this is not to say that you should allow someone to treat you any way they like. It is important to have boundaries in any relationship. Romantic or not, ang abusive na relationship, dili ginatnim na ito. Do I look in love? <laughs> So how true love looks, in spite of na kita na mo mga movies and cartoon portrayals or true love doesn't have hearts dancing over its recipient, you know, it doesn't send people floating in clouds or cloud na ina may gugma ka. That's the trouble with our society today. I I, I really say it. Um, it's look like na um, it's not that. It's not, it's not the, the symbol of true love. That's not how true love looks. True love is lasting, persevering. It isn't uh, feelings all the time, but it's devotion and dedication. Ah, kabukot ang pastor. Dedication of, de of devotion. Well, if matod pa, kung kano kano ma-fail, di na love. <laughs> of how love well si Neon ang sa writer si Kenneth Copeland you don't just turn on and off the look of love you have to practice love and you don't wait until somebody is ugly to you because you practice the love of God you practice the love of God by first loving him and then when somebody does do something less than sweet to you you'll already be loving God so loving them is just an option meaning Whoever that person is, whatever he does to you, he or she does to you, well, not give one in love because you are already in love with no less than Jesus. Knowledge is power. And how true love choose power. Kinsay nang itag perfect love. Nabana sa Tinder. Nabana sa mga dating sites. Nabana sa dating apps. Or sa Facebook, sa Twitter, sa Instagram. If you've been looking for one perfect true love in your life, then there's only one place to find it. It's in Christ Jesus. 
even though you can never be perfect because nobody's perfect me too i'm not perfect well even if you're not perfect he will always love you perfectly if you ever want to know what true love feels like acts and looks like look to the cross cross the love of god is full of life changing power let's not let's look at how true love shows power first john 4 8 true love created you john 3 16 true love saved you isaiah 53 5 true love healed you galatians 5 1 true love sets you free isaiah 53 5 true love healed you galatians 5 1 true love set you free 2 Corinthians 5 21 True love made you righteous. Galatians 5 6 True love never leaves you. Or true love uh, can move mountains. And Hebrews 13 5 True love never leaves you. 1 John 4 8 True love cancels all out our fears. And 1 Corinthians 13 1 to 3 True love makes everything else matter. You see? There is no other and only one. There is only one true love. Kung kita nagtokan, Jesus, you have already have it. Already. God doesn't have love. He is love. Walay makatupong sa gugma o walay gugma sa tibuok kalibutan nga makalabaw sa gugma sa ginoo diha kanimo. Well, the earth or the person, people, ang usa ka tao, um, dili makakuha o makakawat ining mga gugmagi ka uh, Well, mean people can overcome it. Anong mga dautang mga tao, nga wala nang gugma ni mo, di na maka-overcome sa gugma sa ginong nga naan ni mo. True love works because it is powerful and it never fails. It is so powerful that it can love regardless of whatever it is loved by. Kung matubagan, matubagan ba na animo ang gugma sa gino, it doesn't matter. God still loves you. That's powerful love. Powerful love. That's unconditional love. Kung sa itong word again, agape. Agape love is powerful. It makes you master of every situation. But when you're walking in it, no weapon formed against you will prosper. No one has the ability to hurt your feelings because you're not ruled by emotions but by God's love. You are loving as He loves. That's manifest power, right? The hero. So, kung naa ka sa ginoo, kung naa ka relationship nimo kay Lord, wala na ka nagkuwang sa gugma. And buka ng ubang gugma sa tao, that's only bonds. That's pakapin sa gugma sa gino. You have God, you're complete with your love. Kung wala na kay lain pang palitaw, kay naan na may mo. So, do you know now what's true up? I hope that you know already. Oh, dili na kamunita na. Because true love is nana na sa amin. And that God give you that love. All you have to do is accept that love and offer that love. If you want to ask question, how can I receive that love, you can contact me. Just see my contacts below the description box. Sa itong nining maong atong love. So, good night everyone, mga Highlanders. God bless you. And always remember that you are loved. That's why you're going beloved. Bye.